We can all picture ourselves living in a place like this, but the reality is that a multi-million dollar home is gonna be out of reach for most of us, me included. But that doesn't mean I can't feel like I'm living the good life. And it can happen with something as simple as a chair. This classic Eames mid-century lounge chair is stunning and it costs more than your rent, but I found a version that's not only affordable, it is supremely comfortable. Meet the classic Eames lounge chair and ottoman from Sone. When Sone offered me the opportunity to try out its furniture to see firsthand what the quality is like, I pretty much jumped at the chance. The company has graciously gifted me one of its iconic chairs here in exchange for my full and honest opinion, but it hasn't made any requests or requirements about my review. So in this video, I'll check out the build quality and the design. I'll try out the comfort and see how it fits into my home. I'll take a look at the pros and the cons of buying a chair like this, and I'll wrap things up by letting you know if I think you should make room in your home for Sone. I spent a good amount of time on Sone's website trying to choose a great piece of furniture that would fit my modern but smaller space. The chair I ordered is the Eames Lounge Chair and Ottoman, the premier tall version in ivory white leather and walnut wood. There's a few different wood finishes here and you can choose from black or white leather as well. I have to say though, I was also crushing pretty hard on the Togo replica chair and the CH25 woven lounge chair replica too, so my decision was a tough one. And of course, there's a lot more on the Sone website as well. I wasn't quite sure what to expect before the chair arrived just about a week after my order. When the delivery day came, one large box and one smaller box were delivered to my door and I tore into both immediately. The smaller box holds all of the metal parts and fittings for putting the chair together, while the larger box contains the four pieces of the chair. Everything is well packed in foam to keep it from getting scratched, dented, or ripped. Assembling the chair was a lot easier than I thought. The ottoman goes together in a minute, just bolt on the four-legged stand. For the chair, the back, which looks like it's two pieces, but it already comes connected together, that attaches to the seat with thick, immovable steel brackets and bolts. And while it kind of looks like it defies physics, I can 100% confirm that it comes together and feels super strong. With the shell of the seat in place, I assembled the base stand. Then all I had left to do was add the arms. Now, hilariously, I only realized after I finished the assembly and taking a seat for a few minutes that I had put the arms on backwards. Just like the original version, the hardware should be completely invisible in the finished chair, so husband Roger and I flipped the arms around to their correct position and were rewarded with a beautiful, comfortable chair. Let's talk about the build quality and the comparison to the original. I have to say I've been really impressed by the quality of this chair. I did a lot of research before my order about how to measure and understand the quality of this particular chair. And in short, you don't want things like screws just driven right through the wood and into the fabric. Ideally, quality replica furniture should be faithful to the original design. This chair not only looks like the original, but it's built like it too. While I was assembling it, I actually noticed how weighty and substantial the pieces feel. The wood is beautiful and solid and doesn't look like glue lamb or that it will split along the edges. The leather covering the seats feels thick and substantial while at the same time being smooth and supple. There's leather piping along the edges too where the fabric meets the wood and leather covered buttons punctuate the seat, back and the ottoman, but they are driven in far enough that you don't feel them when you sit down. The color on the wood I chose, a light walnut, is perfect for my space and it seems evenly applied and the overall feel of the wood is silky smooth. Even the metal bases for the chair and ottoman feel like solid steel with a nice brushed silver finish on top. Each of the small feet goes in on a screw and that makes each one individually adjustable. There is absolutely no visible hardware on the chair once it's assembled, so it looks just like it marched off the pages of a 1960s Architectural Digest magazine. Now, as good as any chair can look, if it's not comfortable, there's not really much point in buying it, right? Chairs are for sitting and not just for looking at. That's why I'm glad to say this chair is insanely comfortable. Because of the odd reclined angle the chair sits at, I wasn't sure if this would be comfortable for long stretches. I'm so glad to find out that it really is. Whether I was reading the morning news or watching TV, the chair is beyond comfortable. Perhaps that's down in part to the fact I ordered the taller frame. Even husband Roger has fallen in love and he's even coined the term WFC or work from chair to describe how much more time he's spending in this chair too. 
The amazing thing about this replica is that it makes you comfortable whether you prefer to sit up and read or lay back and lounge and relax. It's kind of hard to describe how it can make both things comfortable, but I guess that's the secret of a good design and probably why this chair has become so iconic. I had some reservations about purchasing a replica. Eames chairs are iconic and rightfully so, and both the design and the unique construction of this chair in particular has really stood the test of time. And it also has the really amazing ability to look both fresh and modern and vintage all at the same time. Now, while I would absolutely love to own an original, I eventually came to the realization that that's probably just never going to be in the cards for me. Spending between five or $7,000 on one single seat is really not justifiable. But is it okay to purchase a replica? Well, first, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this down in the comments below. I actually did some reading on this, and in a nutshell, there's nothing wrong with owning replica design goods. In some cases, design copyrights actually expire, making it okay for retailers to build and sell replicas. What's really important is buying something that's good quality. You want to make sure the design and the construction are durable and the materials are high quality. After all, if you find a knockoff chair online for a couple of hundred bucks, chances are it's probably not going to last you very long. I can definitely say that this chair feels like it's going to be in my life for a very long time. I've had the chair in my home for about three weeks now, and husband Roger and I have been forced to take turns sitting in it because we both find it so comfortable. It's pretty great when a new piece of furniture is such a good addition to your home that you end up fighting over it. Let's go over the pros and cons of this Sone Eames lounge chair replica to see what you need to know. On the pro side, the delivery was fast, assembly was quick and easy, and the price is definitely right. The chair was supremely comfortable, it feels durable, and I actually believe I'm going to have this in my home for years to come. I find the materials are really high quality from the wood to the steel and the leather, and all the components overall feel really high end. Now, anytime I do a review, I do try to find some downsides or potential downsides, or at least things that might end up being red flags for some shoppers, even if they aren't for me. Now, I have to say I am legitimately struggling to find anything I really didn't like about this chair. At most, I would have to say because I've only had it for a couple of weeks, I probably can't assess or speak to its overall longevity. But not only am I a huge fan of this new chair, I am already shopping the site for a second chair so husband Roger and I don't have to fight over this one. And as I was putting the finishing touches on this review, look what arrived. I can absolutely recommend the Sone Eames Lounge Chair and Ottoman, the premier tall version here in ivory, white leather and walnut wood to you.